Right, uh, today we got a little kit to build. And I bought this about six months ago. I was a little bit scared about putting it together. Uh, there wasn't a lot of information out there, and there still isn't really, but some months have passed down the line and I feel a bit more confident than what I did six months ago. And so I think it's time to really look at this. I don't know if anybody has suggested by now. This is a 4x4x4. Four 4x4. By four by four. Four by four. Uh, four that way, four that way, four up and down, LED, cube, and pre-programmed control circuit. And what I got to do is put the thing together. Now I suppose for this I should probably um, count the LEDs. Uh, I don't know where it's supposed to be, it's probably four by four, what's that, 64 is it? Uh, just gonna double check, math isn't really my, my greatest strong point. 64, actually, okay, that's pretty good. So, All I've got to help me along with this, because there, there aren't any instructions at all, um, and all I have is, pull that off there, is the information there on the website. Now, just make sure I'm on the right page, gives you a video of it working, uh, the parts, And then uh, look at the uh, look at the board. You get a good idea of what goes where by um, you can eliminate all those pieces once you put them on. And then it's just this, but that doesn't look too difficult now. Um, and so I'm really really hoping I get this done without too much uh, too many mistakes. And hopefully it'll look quite good. I don't expect it to be, um, you know, brilliant in construction, but I think the effects uh, are going to look quite, quite entertaining. Anyway, let's go on to putting it together. Okay, so I counted them and I got 75 and I thought, oh, that must be wrong. So I counted them again um, off camera and there's 75, 20, 20, 20, 15. Um, I thought it was me. I don't know. had a few drinks last night and I feel like I've got two eyes in one socket still. But that's a, not a nice way to spend the Sunday playing the LEDs. Oh, of course. This is a three prong LED because this is a two colour cube. And I don't know which white is or which. I'm going to take a guess. And my guess is going to be that because there's more material in the middle on this stem, that this would be the negative. And either side are going to be the colours. But in order to. Um, We're going to put a bit of power to it. Okay. I'm going to get the camera just to stay in one place. <clears throat> like that. Oh, look, we can get the camera to stay in one place. Uh, apparently this is 5 volt for the circuit, but I'm not sure how much uh, these will take. So what I've got is it's pre-set up from yesterday. What's that say? 70 milliamp. I'm going to drop 
Oh no, many ops on that. I'm going to go uh, 0 0.000. No, that's the wrong console. I'm going to go 2.0. Okay, and it's and that's two and a half volt. So what did I say? Middle one, I think, is the negative. Um, uh, that's 20 milliamps, isn't it? So I'm going to actually drop that down a little bit lower because if it is a uh, wrong way around, I don't want to pop any of them. Uh, 0 0.010 10, 10 milliamps. Um, keep doing all that erming again. Um, it's because I'm meditating. <laughs> Okay, that's red. Funky, and that one, then it's blue. Red, blue. Okay, so the longer one is red, and the shorter one is blue. Turn that off again. And the middle one is, um, oh, damn it, what was it? Long one, red. I'm going to write that down. L equals R. There you go, that's all I need to write down so I know what the other ones are then. Okay, right, so we know we've got enough of those to do it. I'm pretty sure that everything else is going to be correct in here. 3, 30 pico, I think, if I remember correctly from the thingy. 3, 30 pico, I think this would be 4, 1k resistors. Yep. Oh look, there's another one. Pre bent uh, four LEDs around the outside, yeah. One cap, one, um, one, one crystal, one electrolytic, I should say. One, one crystal, and some little standoffs. So I'm not quite sure where they go, or so I've not seen them in any of the pictures. Yeah, I'm looking at one of the pictures now, and I can't see where. Uh, can't actually see where they go. Let me just. What is this thing that I actually do when I want it to? When I want it to do it. Come on. Right. Let's see. Right. So. Okay. The little. These little bits are for these. Um, for these LEDs. So they sit proud of the um, of the board. I don't think it really matters which way they go around. There's two holes there. Mm, I wonder if that fits differently like that. Okay, try the other way around. No, I don't think it really matters. I don't think it really matters. I'm going to put. I am going to put it so the hole is facing inwards. So it sits on the board. So it sits on the board like this. I'm really I should probably raise that a little bit more if you want to see what my hands are doing. I'm really sorry if you haven't seen anything that my hands have been doing so far, but you've not really missed much. Uh, so yeah, so it sits very slow now. Okay. Well, I'm going to switch the soldering on, get a few minutes to heat up, and uh, and we'll come back to to soldering. First things first, I think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in. I use my light. I need my uh, extractor on as well. There's even no idea. Quite like the smell of flux. I'm sure it's not pretty good for me to be breathing in.
I don't know how to speed up this um, the video through these bits because there's not a, not a great deal to say. <clears throat> I'm not gonna. There's some some that haven't got pads um, on these pins for this uh, chip, so I'm not gonna bother trying to solder there. There's one. It's not gonna make a connection anyway. So I'm gonna try soldering not to a pad. So. There's any point. I don't know if um, this is going to come in handy for anybody, um, but I've noticed on eBay there's quite a lot of these, well, quite a lot of things being sold on eBay that aren't as advertised. And so you end up getting things. Uh, I've recently had it with some just little kits, infrared, um, infrared receiving kits. So you can just use a you know, common and garden remote control to switch a circuit, which has a relay. Then you can, of course, power something a bit bigger, a light, whatever it is you want to power up to about 300 watts. And when you buy the kit, you buy their what's displayed as the image, and then when you get it, well, it's like in the image you'll have a you'll have a, a, a chip and you'll have a socket, and you'll have a three terminal connector. Um, but when you actually get it, you find out you haven't got the socket, you haven't got a three terminal connector. You've got a an inferior two terminal connector, and there's quite a few little other differences. No, eBay don't seem to really care about this, and through the frustration, I figured, well, okay, um, because these sellers will give you your money back. So I think, in a way, I'm advocating buy this stuff, knowing that it's going to come to you inferior, and just query the seller about it, and they'll just give you a refund. You can end up getting some free stuff off eBay. Uh, okay, so I, I took notes to make sure that I got the little cutout part in the right place on this uh, on the board. So it'll be easy to put a uh, chip in there at the end. So let's go for the next bits. I'm going to put the crystal in next because that seems to be the most fiddliest. Then we go a couple of 30 pico. Um, little capacitor so I don't know if um, you've ever bought a power supply off eBay one of these ones like I've got a 10 a 10 amp 0 to 30 volts that's actually uh, advertised as being 10 microvolt um, no sorry 10 uh, 10 milliamp what am I talking about microvolt 10 milliamp 
resolution and it's not it's a hundred and so of course when you get it and you hope for the 10 milliamp resolution and you find out it's a hundred uh, channel save I think it's called I bought mine from they offered me a 50% refund for uh, I don't know I think it's to keep the mouth shut I'm not quite sure but they still haven't changed their adverts so I don't mind telling people that if you bought one of those power supplies for £62 where the price it is and then you queried that the resolution wasn't correct according to the advertisement if it's anything like they handled me they'll just offer you a 50% 50 cent percent money back so then you got yourself a nice 0 to 30 volt switch mode 10 amp power supply price <clears throat> I don't think that's um, uh, I don't think that's terribly too bad oh, what have we got to do what 22 now I'm sure it says in the, uh, in the little list I'm looking at this and I'm looking at the list as well 22 PK ceramic capacitors no I was drawn I thought for some reason there were 30 but they're not the 22s I like to put all mine in the not the right way round and I seem to have messed that up anyway because I've put the uh, I have to get it I've put the uh, the crystal in opposite to the way the uh, the legend is on the board so I'm not going to bother I'm just going to put them all in I'm just going to get the electrolytic the right way round probably push these in a little bit tighter Now they say there's three. I can only see holes for two. Yep. Okay, so we'll chuck these. Chuck the resistors in as well. Okay. I'll put that to the way around just so. I've been a bit naughty um, because I ordered I couldn't find the parts as cheap as I could in the kit for these infrared um, these infrared sensors now I quite like the idea of having a few of those connected to lights and such so I can just uh, use a remote to turn them on and off But the way I look at it is I've ordered a, a few more and if they don't come through as per the kit I'll just say to them again I know it's a bit naughty oh I don't know if it is naughty they should just send you out what's in the kit then I'm buying it for the parts not really for what it's going to do because I'm just going to rebuild it to my own thing and, uh, and I think that's fair enough if you buy something comes through with something different then, um, oh that was I know something I bought recently which in some ways I'm really happy with but in another way I'm pretty peed off about and I'll tell you what that was it's from Shure Electrics Shure Electrics I think it's called Shure Electrics and it's one of these um, tracer uh, uh, maximum power point tracking solar controllers now the controller itself brilliant love it absolutely love it even on a day like today I can see that my batteries are still charging there's no sunshine out uh, even on the most overcast of day I'm still getting you know milliamps now I know that's nothing but when you think about it milliamps is trickle charging that's pretty healthy for a battery to be trickle charged rather than around the all the time but I love the controller and I've been using it for a, a few weeks now and so soon I'll be confident enough that I've got enough data uh, to understand whether 
you know, it's doing a good job or not. I think it's doing a good job. Basically, I can keep my uh, the lights and such that I have attached to it on pretty much all the time. And uh, in actual fact, where I do feel a bit is when it's charged by about 11 o'clock in the morning, sometimes even in the winter here, because uh, it's winter at the moment. When it's charged, that's why I bought it now, because I want to see what it will do in the winter rather than what it will do in the summer. I know what it will do in the summer. It will do better than it does in the winter, so I want to see what it does in the winter. But, so I bought it and it's great. I bought another battery and hooked it up to it as well, and hopefully I'm going to do a 24 volt with it soon. It's my little. But the part that I didn't like about it was that without me understanding it, because it came through TNT, it needed an extra £5 on taxes to be paid. But that ended up costing me £30 because TNT provided the service without asking me. And the seller didn't tell me that this service would be provided to me without me knowing. And so it means I've incurred this bill. But I'm going to argue it because, well, I don't need them to deal with customers and excise for me. I can do that for myself, thank you. Uh, but what I do like is the heads up to it's old. And not just for it to be rushed to me with a big price. So even though I think that the actual um, the unit itself is a great buy, you do uh, end up with an extra £30 bill on it if you don't get in touch with TMT and the appropriate people to say look I'll deal with my own uh, relations with customs so like I said it's a great buy I think it's uh, the actual unit itself the product is great but the way it's been delivered to me and that the company obviously they sell quite a few and they use the same carrier must know this situation and they're not telling people i think that's a bit low down and dirty and they don't do anything to help you to offer any sort of compensation they just basically say well we do say that you've got to deal with it but they don't tell you well i suppose they do tell you the carriers because if you do check you've got a tracking number but it's one of those things you need to look out for uh, with TNT, I don't know if it's the same with other companies, but TNT will provide this service to you whether you want it or not, and you'll find yourself with this bill. Um, but like I say, I'm going to argue it. I'm going to argue it because uh, I didn't ask for the service. I don't mind it coming a week later if it's got to be sat and customs ask me for stuff. I've had that before where customs um, <coughs> where I've been told I've got to pay extra <clears throat> and that's okay I don't mind it was only £5 it was the £25 administration charge for TNT dealing with it I didn't like because I'd been quite happy to spend a, a few moments dealing with uh, customs to pay that bit extra But still, I like the product, the way it charges and the way it's, um, the way it takes any small amount of power and turns that into usable charging power. Um, it's so, so much superior to the PMW, uh, PWM, sorry. And this unit as well has got a four stage charging logarithm. Okay, that's all looking good. I might lose a very close. Um, somebody in the area that I live has had a new alarm fitted, I think, to their house because near enough every other day it goes off. And it's such an annoying sound and I think I've got to the stage now if they were being burgled I'd cheer them on and say come on just get rid of the stuff and get out and then they won't have anything else to have an alarm for because it's just annoying 
be nice if you could tell the police to come and do one for breach of the peace because it's breaching my peace. I'm just going to take a, a second and go and check on my dinner.